Hey everyone, this is the fragrance slash perfume slash body spray tag that has been going around the YouTubes lately and it looked like fun, so I figured why not give it a try. Um, okay, we're just going to jump right into the questions. I'll put them down below so that you can answer them yourself um, in a video response or leave me a comments answering them. That would be awesome. Um, okay, so what was the first perfume you ever purchased? The first perfume I ever purchased personally was Escada. Um, it was one of them maybe like eight years ago, um, and they have a new one every season, so I don't remember which one it was, but that's what it was. It was Escada. I purchased it for a couple years, probably about two years, and then my friend stole it. Like, not like actually stole the perfume, but like she started wearing it, and I had this thing where like two girls who were really close friends shouldn't wear the same scent because it like confuses guys. I had that back then. Like, now I don't care so much, but when I was a teenager, I was like, my best friend shouldn't smell like me because scent is so wrapped up in memory that I didn't... Anyways, tell me if that's crazy. If you think that's crazy. I've told some girls and they're like, oh, I completely understand. And other girls are like, that's crazy. Why does it matter? I just don't... I don't share perfumes. I don't know what it is. Um, okay. Oh, but the first perfume I ever owned was Tommy Girl by Tommy Hilfiger. And my grandfather bought that for me, and I cannot remember what it smells like, but I found it the other day, and it smelled like chemical, <laughs> but I'm assuming that's because it's like 10 years old. Um, but I want to go to the store and smell it now and see what it smells like, because I used a lot of it, so I guess I liked it. Okay, what's your signature perfume? Sorry, there's 11 questions, so I'm going to talk really, really fast. Um, so I'm trying to go under 10 minutes. We'll see how that works. Okay, your favorite perfume. My, or not favorite, signature there's a difference. Okay, my favorite perfume is Cashmere Vanilla Jasmine, and this is a Victoria's Secret perfume. I don't know if they make this anymore, um, but it's Vanilla Jasmine. Yeah, I really like it. And then the reason I say there's a difference is because I think my signature perfume is the Sexy Little Things Noir. This is just a bitty little bottle already cute. Um, yeah, I also have the body spray of it. And the reason why I say this is my signature perfume is because the other night, me and my guy friends were kind of sitting around and we were talking about like the way girls smell and scents and stuff. And I was like, here, smell my perfumes. Cause it was late and we had nothing else to do. So they were smelling them all. And most of them were like, oh, this smells like you. You wear this a lot, don't you? And I was like, yeah, I guess so. So this is my signature scent, apparently. Um, okay, what's your most recent perfume purchase? That would be Cashmere Glow, and it's a fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works. Um, these were on sale for like three for ten. They're travel size stuff. I have full lotions too. Um, it's just a good kind of basic. I stick it in my purse for if I forget to put something on and I want to smell pretty. It's got a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of like sugary maple syrup. It's kind of warm. It's a good kind of winter smell. Um, what perfume would you wear at nighttime or day night? That would be Rihanna. Um, this is her first one. I don't know what it's called. She now has a red one that I am lusting over. I want it so bad. Um, but this is my go-to like night out, date night sort of smell just because it is a little bit more kind of grown up smelling. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's warm vanilla kind of get like oh, a little bit of a habit here vanilla not habit that's not the word i'm looking for uh theme you get the theme okay moving on uh what's your favorite spring summer perfume that would be not that one ah be enchanted which is again a fine fragrance mist from bath and body works oh btw I don't actually own that many perfumes. Um, most of them are body sprays. Uh, two reasons. One, perfume is expensive. And two, I tend to be turned off by it automatically because it smells very chemical at first. Um, I know it's like works in with your chemistry and soaks into your skin and blah, 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 blah smells better, whatever. Um, but at first I'm just like, ah, ugh, chemical. I don't want to smell like that. So I kind of like, yeah. So I tend to go with a more kind of body mist. Um, okay, so yes, Be Enchanted, which is probably my 
least like everything kind of fits together in a little package of like vanilla and this is the standout um, because it does have a bit of a floral smell to it. Um, I got this for free from Bath and Body Works and um, I didn't have anything that smelled like this or even remotely close to this so I was like I'm just gonna try it see what my husband thinks and just go for it and I really like it I think he likes it do you like it I think he likes it um so yeah it's got a little bit of a floral um yeah and it's that's why it's good for kind of summer spring because it's kind of light and airy and florally um what's your favorite fall winter perfume that would be another body spray from Bath and Body Works, and it is Twilight Woods. Um, it's very kind of warm, musky. Um, what's your favorite scent category? So like fruity, floral, fresh, oriental, woody, um, vanilla, uh, food, pretty much anything that like smells like if you licked me it would taste good. Um, cake. Uh, yeah, I like food. Um, I saw this shirt on Pinterest. It's hilarious. It said, I don't know. Yeah, I like One Direction and food. It was just, it was perfect. It spoke to my heart. Um, where was I going with this? Okay, smells. I don't like florally smells. Um, fruity can be okay, but I tend to smell a little bit on the young side. Um, so I tend to go with kind of warm, sugary, vanilla sort of thing. Um, most people I like talk to we talk about it all the time apparently uh will be like vanilla that's what they think of when they think of me they're like oh you smell like vanilla because my house smells like vanilla too because it's just everywhere because there's more vanilla um okay what perfume are you currently lusting after so i mentioned the red version whatever that is of the rihanna perfume i am also in love with wonderstruck from taylor swift but it is the only perfume that has ever given me a headache which made me so mad and every time i try it it gives me a headache so i'm like whatever Okay, so when I heard she had a new one coming out, I was like, please, please, please have changed the formula. And she did. So I really, really want the Wonderstruck Enchanted. Um, and then I also, I have like a little list over here. Um, Meow by Katy Perry smells amazing. Um, I like the Justin Bieber perfumes too. I think they smell good. You see the theme? I like uh, celebrity perfumes as well because they tend to be like young and that's my problem. Okay, here's the question for you guys. I need a mature smelling perfume that is not smelling like old lady. Because the biggest comment I got on all my smells um, when I was showing my guy friends was they smell like teenager. And there's nothing wrong with teenage smells because obviously I have a ton of them and they smell really good. But, you know, I'm mid-20s and it would be nice to have something that was like mature and grown up. Um, without smelling old, old lady. Does that make sense? So if you can think of any that you've smelled recently that kind of are in that category, that would be awesome. Would you comment below and let me know. Um, okay. Do, 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 do. What cologne slash fragrance do you like on your significant other? I don't like cologne. Period. Um, I think that comes from teenage years of guy friends dousing themselves with acts everything um shampoo body wash deodorant spray and uh it's just too much no no good um so i think that kind of turned me off in general to colognes and smells um really a really light cologne that you can only smell when you're like this far away um i think is fine but something that you can smell from like halfway across the room it just shouldn't happen um, so on my husband, I just like his smell. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, I like the smell, the mix of his shampoo and his deodorant and his soap um, and then the laundry detergent we use. Um, I've always just really preferred just a clean, clean, crisp, clean smell is what I like. Um, okay. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I added another question because I thought it was kind of fun. Um, I saw some other tag. What is your Lazy Day perfume? So my Lazy Day perfume is this Body Bodycology. And you can get this at pretty much any drugstore. And it is just a really good basic vanilla. And I like this because it's like six bucks and it lasts forever. And cheap enough that even if I'm like at home by myself, 
I don't mind like spraying it even if no one else is going to smell me. So yeah, that is the tag. Um, let me know what you thought. If you agree or disagree with anything that I've said, um, comment down below and let me know your favorites. Um, and then again, with my question about the mature, but not old lady, like, where are you on that? Yeah, let me know. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.